Well, I've just finished scanning this half of this mold here. And what I'd like to do is I want to show you guys how we can grab the scan data or the point cloud data and how we can best fit it to the CAD model. So what I've done is I've captured every surface on here that's, that's uh, important to my client, which is just the, the interface here where the, where the part is. But I've also captured just a little bit of point cloud on the side here so I can align the point cloud for this direction. So jump into Polyworks with me. I've got it live here and I'm going to scan both of these in the same workspace as separate projects. But come in and let me show you how we can best fit the point cloud here. And I'm going to use an endpoint pair as an initial alignment. So I'd like to show you that as well. Okay, so jump on in. So you can see here I've got my data my uh, my CAD model read in. I have got the surface scan right here. I don't have it showing, but if I middle mouse button push down, you can see that right there. It's in the data. All right, now I'd like to get these two, uh, two objects to align, right? CAD to the part. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come up here to the alignment pull down menu or align. And then I'm going to go to this best fit because what I'd like to do is I want to best fit that point cloud to the CAD model. So I'm going to come right here to the first option, Data to Reference Objects. So I'll click on him, then it brings up this dialog box over here. I usually like to pre-align. It makes it go a little bit faster. So this, is, this dialog box here is checked, and my pre-alignment is this point pairs. Okay, so that's the way I'm going to start this one here. And then I'm going to say Start. And notice what comes up is these two split screens will come up on my... Um, on my screen here. I'm actually moving my left mouse button around to rotate these and I like to get these into the same orientation as close as I can. Okay, you see how that's going there? Here's actually the side. I've actually, uh, I've added some point cloud content to the side here. Let me get this into that same, almost the same little views, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick points on the CAD model that are going to be pretty similar to the same location that I've got for this model here. Get the, just as close as I can. So now both of these views are in the same orientation. They're pretty close. What I'm going to do then is I'll run to pick. And notice what my cursor does. It turns to this pencil. So I'm going to pick on some points in the CAD model here. I'm using the left mouse button. Pick there pick there and pick there. Okay, so that's a big surface area. That surface area is right up on top of here. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to pick points in the model that will kind of block this, uh, the CAD model or, or the object in the three locations, an X and a Y and a Z. So I've picked points on the top surface here. Those are three points I've picked there. And then I can pick up on two points that are on the, on the upstanding flange area. And then I'm going to pick one point that's on this end here. Okay, now I'm going to pick in the same order from the point cloud. So I've got point one, point two, and point three. And again, I'm using my left mouse button. Clicking here's four, here's five, and here is six. Okay, so those points, the points that I've picked on the point cloud correlate to the points that I've picked from the CAD model. So those six points from the point cloud are going to find the six points that I've put on, on the CAD model here, and they're just going to snap to each other as an initial alignment. From there, Polyworks will solve the best fit alignment. It'll kind of settle it in from there. Okay, so watch what happens here. Once I've got them picked, I can right mouse key, boom, boom. Do you see it kind of started that alignment process? It got it as close as it could. And now it's going through the alignment. It's going through multiple iterations to get the best fit that it can. So I've solved, or the number I give it for the max number of iterations is 50. But notice down here it only took six. And it settled as good as it could and it stopped. So I will say close out of that. And now you can see that I've got point cloud, even though I've got extra points over top of that, it was 
uh, point cloud that was taken from my surface here. But now what I can do is I can go in and clean up that point cloud before I do the surface deviation and the color map. But what I wanted to show you guys is how you can grab point cloud data from that scan and you could best fit it to the point or the point cloud best fit to the CAD model based on that point pairs. So it's super easy to do, but just remember to pick the same points on the CAD model as you do in your point cloud and try and pick up on surfaces that are kind of square to each other, or they're, we say it mutually perpendicular, but that way it solves it as good as it can initially, and then at best fit tightens it up from there.